Hi everyone, in this tutorial we're going to be discussing how to set up a simple FTP server uh, utilizing uh, CentOS or a Linux OS platform. Uh, what I have done is actually I've downloaded the CentOS software from their website. If you go to CentOS.org, go to download section, mirrors, then find the one that has both disk 1 and disk 2 and then download them both. Uh, I do want to mention that in this instance I only use disk 1. So for the sake of this tutorial I'm going to install it on a virtual machine and uh, I'm going to be pausing within while it's uh, installing but uh, coming in and out and giving you what uh, give me some details on what I'm doing or uh, some parameters I have set in. So I'm going to uh, start this virtual machine with the um, with the uh, CentOS CD and uh, I'm going to put you on pause and bring you back uh, when I get to the next step. He loads, it's going to ask if you want to uh, test the CD. Uh, in this case I know it's good so I'm going to skip it and I'm going to let it run. Uh, the CentOS uh, installation, I'm selecting English because uh, that's um, what I know and uh, let's follow through here I'm making this as basic as possible I'm gonna give it a name and um, you what you want to do is actually give it a name that you remember uh, something that's similar to your domain um, don't forget here under configure network go under system ETH 0 Click edit. Make sure you select or you check this to connect automatically. That way it starts up when the system starts up. Uh, IPv6, I, I don't have it enabled and I don't need it. Uh, IPv4, I leave it DHCP and then I'll set it uh, a static IP afterwards. And uh, I'll go through that procedure later as well. So we're going to proceed with the installation. going to give it a simple password to uh, your root user account all right this is going to take some time so uh, I will put on pause and I'll be right back here um, I typically select the basic server because that gives me what I need to continue with my uh, installation. Mission completed. We're ready to reboot. Now, what we're going to do is actually there are a couple of other steps we got to go through. Uh, one of them was. Uh, determining the IP and then setting it to a static IP um, and we'll go through that once the system is back up and once it is up you want to log in with the um, user account uh, and password that you created earlier the user uh, account is root and the password is the one that you've created alright so let's log in now we want to determine the IP so we type if config and that's telling us our IP is 192.168.0.8 um, the subnet is uh, 255.255.255.0 and let's go ahead and put that into the system as static Alright, let's go under uh, device configuration and we select the first one, ETH0. You want to go down to where it's the static, spacebar to uncheck it. I'm sorry, DHCP, you want a spacebar to uh, uncheck it and then that way you can enter in the static IP address. And we're going to enter the one we saw earlier.
by P to make it easier um, I have already my I already have my screen open here from my system configuration uh, for the Mac and uh, my router is actually 192.168.0.1 which is going to be the default gateway and therefore the primary and secondary DNS server uh, they're both listed here so for me I enter these numbers in okay to accept tab to save enter go to DNS and those uh, DNS is already there tap through to OK click OK I'm going to save and quit okay so let's ping uh, let's go this restart network okay network uh, was brought back up just fine let's ping Google make sure our network is working okay and it's going out and so it's got a connection which is good uh, I'm gonna stop this <clears throat> now so far we have the installation going and it's installation is actually good now what we have to do is actually um, install some software and what we're gonna install here is actually the uh, uh, VSFTP software uh, that will be used for the FTP connection. To do that we want to type in yum install VSFTPD enter. It's going to connect out and download. It's going to ask you to proceed and you want to say yes. Want to say yes to continue. Yes again and uh, installation completed next we want to edit the um, VSF TPD config file to do that we're going to type this out here okay and this is actually the file here what we want to do is actually change anonymous to no and uh, you want to hit I so you can insert into this text here and where it says uh, anonymous enable we're gonna type no and delete yes and then to save this we're gonna hit escape to uh, exit the insert mode type uh, colon x enter we need to turn VSF TPD on during boot so we need a uh, type in these commands uh, to lock that in so that way it'll start during boot up okay now that went well next we need to uh, configure IP tables and we do that by typing out the command here And what we want to do here is actually um, we want to uh, make port 21 um, or should I say we want to accept port 21 since that's what FTP utilizes. So we have this page open or this document open and we're going to hit I for insert. And what I normally do is um, I type out the uh, D port 22 here exactly as it is here. But instead of 22 I type 21 so let's do that now sorry I mistyped input here let me go back and correct that so here I'm going to put port 21 And that looks good. I'm going to save this. Escape colon X to save. Okay, file has been written and saved. <clears throat> um, edit the IP tables config file. 
and we do that by invoking this command and what we're gonna do is actually we're gonna hit I for insert under IP tables modules you want to type um, IP underscore con track oops one one in too many track underscore FTP make sure you type it all over lowercase otherwise it won't work uh, now we're gonna exit no, escape I'm sorry colon X to save and it is written table services Let's backtrack a little bit here and see what is going on here. Um, it says we got a bad argument in line 10. So let's take a look at that. The, um, it looks like the error is the, um, <clears throat> the bad argument underscore A, but really should have been a dash A. So uh, what I'm going to do is actually go back to make that adjustment and then we'll give it another shot here to see if it works. This is for the IP tables where we were um, accepting or trying to open up port 21 here. And this is, uh, is actually in the firewall. So I'm going to hit I to insert, go down here to where A is at, delete that, and put a dash in instead. I'm going to hit escape, colon, X to save. And we are good. Now let's uh, invoke the command service IP tables restart. Okay, and it loaded fine. The um, the uh, user account, and uh, what I'm going to do is actually create one called backup. So the username is going to be called backup. So in order to do that, you want to type user add, and then backup it's the name dash d space four slash home and backup. So what I did was I uh, type the command and this is the account name and I'm telling that this is the home directory okay so we're gonna hit uh, enter okay and that's been created next we want to uh, assign a password to that username we type pass wd backup and we'll type in a password it's gonna um, oh, it's looking for something harder so let's type in a more complex password and let's type that again. Okay, so there, that is done. Now let's um, let's do one more thing. That is to disable um, se se Linux, and we do that. We do that by invoking this command. Must have spelled it wrong. Okay, I for uh, insert. Type in disabled. That looks good. Escape. Let's exit out and save this. Okay, that looks good. Next, uh, let's reboot the machine. Shut down dash R to restart now. We're going to let it go. Basically, this is the essentially it for um, setting up the CentOS FTP server. Um, if we need to test it out just to make sure it's working locally, we can actually go to uh, our FTP client, put in the IP address that we've assigned it earlier, along with the backup uh, user account that we've created and the uh, password. Port 21, and uh, let's make sure 
the server is up and let's do a quick connect and we are in we can actually throw something in here if we needed to PSV logo and let's disconnect let's close this out let's log in here under backup account and the backup password ls to list directory and you'll see that the file is sitting in here so ftp for the server works now to get it to work uh, outside the world we'll have to configure our uh, internal router and uh, i will show you how to configure our internal router in the next tutorial thanks for watching